there again to talk about our belief in Jesus. And sure enough, I got ahead of myself a second time. I said next time it would be Jesus our Lord, but it is Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord. So we talk about the sonship of Jesus. Son, S-O-N, not S-U-N, of course. Jesus is God's only Son, our Lord, we say, when we say what we believe. What does it mean to say Jesus is God's Son? Well, we say that Jesus identifies, this man from Nazareth, identifies with the eternally existing Son of God somehow, mysteriously. We don't know exactly how that works. But it, we know that it was important to say that Jesus was a Son of God because, remember, in his day, sons were the only ones who could truly inherit the wealth of their fathers and of their families. Jesus is the inheritor of all of God's gifts, God's blessings, God's grace, the one true chosen inheritor or heir of all of God's gifts. He's unique. We might say, um, you know, the song, uh, what if God was one of us, just another slob like one of us? Well, we say, no, Jesus was not just a, 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 a slob like one of us, but he was, he was unique. He was, was truly God begotten uh, in a way that uh, speaks of an origin that's a bit different from our origin. I know we sometimes look at parts of the Old Testament and we say, ah, there's all the begats, so-and-so begat, so-and-so. But it's a different kind of, of, of way of coming into being. And, and the point of that is to say that God's Son has always been. It's important, it's, it's an important Trinitarian thing to say that God has always been this way, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. He didn't just wake up one day and say, yeah, I think I'll have a son and well, we'll see how that works out. No, God's Son has always been and Jesus identifies uniquely with him. Well, what does this mean then? To say that we are heirs, that we are inheritance, inheritors of God's blessing? Well, it means that we are always held in God's heart the way a child is held in a parent's heart. It means that we are written on God's hands, as it says in the Old Testament. Our very names are written on God's hands. We are beloved, dearly beloved, adopted inheritors of blessing. We are sons and daughters of God who loves us so much that he would take all of the gifts that he gave to his son Jesus Christ and offer them to us in full. Take that with you today, and I'll see you next time when I don't jump the gun. <laughs> see you then.